Okay, so I get it. It's Christmas time and you're really busy. I've been really busy too. Uh, and it's hard to find time to practice, but this is a really cool little technique that you can use to help work on your tone. It really boosts your sound, even if you've only got a few minutes. And actually, I'm going to use some Christmas tunes today for this as well. Let's have some fun. <laughs> you know, I had a question this week from a, one of my sax school students. was asking about Leger reeds, because I play Leger reeds. I love them. Big, big fan of Leger signature series reeds. I play them on all my saxophones. The question from one of my sax school members was, how do I know when a Leger reed wears out? Because it's kind of more obvious with a cane reed, right? I, I didn't know the answer because, you know, I have never worn one out. But today, I think I've just worn out my first Leger reed. Have a listen to this. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it feels really stodgy. I can't tongue very fast. Kind of lost all its definition. So I think today is an important day because I've worn out my very first Leger reed today. How about that? Don't look any difference, but I guess it's lost some of its elasticity. So that's a Leger signature size two and a half on my tenor. That one's done for. Uh, I've got another one here somewhere though. Here we go. So this is a size two and a quarter. I'll be using this one today. So what I want to talk to you about today is a way that you can use Christmas melodies to really improve your sound. Here's the thing. We all like Christmas melodies. I mean, I definitely like Christmas melodies. They're fun because they're, they're lovely melodies that we all know and they're also good tunes to play for family and friends, particularly at this time of year. And I'm filming this at Christmas time, it's like the 5th of December or something today. But the thing is, even if you're short of time, playing through Christmas melodies slowly is a great way to boost your sound, provided that you're thinking about what's going on with your embouchure. Yeah, that sounds much better, much more responsive. Okay, so what I'm talking about here is playing through a simple, easy melody like a Christmas tune, and then working through it, but thinking about what's happening with your embouchure, thinking about keeping a really round shape, thinking about blowing right through your phrases and trying to get the best sound that you can. So it's kind of like a long tone exercise, but actually using a Christmas melody. I'm gonna use White Christmas today. And I'll tell you what, if you wanna learn how to play White Christmas in a kind of jazzy version, I've got a free series of lessons inside Sax School where you can, you can get that and actually run through that. You'll be able to learn it before Christmas. <laughs> There's an alto lesson and a tenor lesson and an improvising lesson as well on White Christmas. I'll put the link up here or down there or somewhere. So if you want to learn that, definitely grab it. It's completely free. It's a lot of fun. And actually, it's a good one for you to play for your friends and family before Christmas. Okay, so White Christmas. Um, let's see. I don't know what key. Let's do it in the key of G, for example. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really thinking about a number of different things here. I'm thinking about the shape of my embouchure. I'm thinking about my breathing. So I'm trying to keep a round shape here. I'm trying to breathe really deeply and keep a steady stream of warm air going into my saxophone. And actually, to take it up a notch, I've got my phone here and I've got my tuner on as well. So yeah, let's do that. Because I know on my saxophone that that middle D is a bit of a problem. So I'm gonna think about my tuning, my quality of my sound, my breathing, and the other thing is I'm going to try and play right through my phrases and get a nice long phrase. So if I really think about making those phrases as long as I can and concentrate on this and think about the quality of my sound, it gives my embouchure a really good workout, even on this slightly soft two and a quarter read. Now there's one other thing I can think about when I'm playing through an exercise like this, and that is to think about my uh, vibrato. Now if I was playing a slow tune, I'd use a slow vibrato anyway, but this is a great opportunity for me to really concentrate on the quality of that sound. <laughs> So can you hear my vibrato in there? I'm just using a little bit, I'm just trying to warm up the sound. I'm really concentrating on controlling it. Because that's the point of practicing like this in a warming up type scenario. 
Hey, I did a fun video for my channel the other day where I was talking about taking a tune and putting it into different keys and developing a pattern for it. Um, check out the, I'll put a link for that lesson actually up here or down in the show notes. Check that one out because the final extension to this sort of practice I'm talking about today is then to take that tune and move it into different keys. But then with, but we're thinking about our embouchure, but we're also thinking about doing it in different keys. So kind of giving ourselves an extra bonus point workout. So I was doing it in G, I don't know, let's try doing it in B flat. Or if you really want to push it extra hard, you can also think about doing it up in the higher range or down in the lower range. So let's say I was going to do it in A, but up high. Now that really is a good workout. So there's any number of things that you can do with a simple exercise like this. And what I'm trying to get to is you can use a simple idea like this, even if you haven't got much time to practice, and it'll really boost your embouchure, building up your sound, and keep your embouchure fit, which is really the most important thing. And it's the first thing to disappear when you stop practicing or when you get busy with other stuff like Christmas. And so even if you can grab five minutes, grab a lovely Christmas tune, work on it like that, where you're playing it, through slowly thinking about your embouchure, thinking about your breathing, thinking about your intonation, thinking about your vibrato. And if you really want that extra bonus point, try putting it up into different keys and working through it like that. Fantastic. I hope you find that useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here because I'm putting new lessons out all the time and they're really gonna help you to improve your skills on saxophone and hopefully help you to have some fun as well. And if you wanna check out that White Christmas lesson, it's a free lesson series. There's a lesson for alto, a lesson for tenor and an improvising lesson as well that'll keep you really busy. Have a great Christmas.